Hagia Sophia means sacred wisdom in Greek and is the name of one of the world's most iconic buildings. Today we look at this building that has been a church, a mosque and a museum in its long and fascinating history. This is Knowledge Voyage. But before this video starts, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get all of our weekly videos about history. Thank you. The Hagia Sophia dominates the Istanbul skyline. It is a world heritage site and is one of the greatest architectural works of all time. The building began life in the 4th century and served as a church in the new Roman imperial capital of Constantinople. But in 532 AD, mass riots saw the building destroyed. But Emperor Justinian I decided to use this as an opportunity to build a grand replacement. At the time, it often took decades or even centuries to complete the cathedral, but Justinian had the Hagia Sophia built in just five years. The church immediately stunned all who saw it, with its grand dome, beautiful mosaics and exquisite marble floors. It will be the centerpiece of spiritual life in Constantinople for centuries, and was a major center for Orthodox Christianity. In fact, the building was so impressive, pagan Vikings returned from their homes in Kiev after visiting Constantinople and decided to convert to Orthodox Christianity, declining earlier invitations to Catholicism and Islam. Had it not been for the imposing beauty of the Hagia Sophia, much of Russia and Ukraine would never have become Orthodox Christian. Tension had been mounting between Rome and Constantinople for decades, and during one ceremony at the Hagia Sophia, the Pope's ambassador interrupted a church service, marched to the altar and slapped a notice of excommunication on the Patriarch before storming out. The Patriarch retaliated by excommunicating the Pope and this so-called Great Schism would split Orthodox and Catholic Christianity. This sectarian feud would continue for centuries. The building continued to be a major centre of Orthodox worship until 1204, when Roman Catholic Crusaders on their way to the Holy Land decided to sack Constantinople instead. The Crusaders converted the Hagia Sophia from an Orthodox Church to a Roman Catholic Church, and for 57 years it was a Catholic centre of worship. It eventually did revert back to being an Orthodox Church, but a new spiritual storm was on the horizon. Islam. In 1453, Turkish armies had swallowed up most of what was once the Eastern Roman Empire, and they launched a devastating siege on the final remaining prize of Constantinople. During the siege, citizens reported seeing a strange white light leaving the Hagia Sophia, allegedly a sign that God had finally withdrawn his presence from the church and the city. And as Turkish troops broke through the walls, civilians who were sheltering from the siege were slain and abused. Legend has it that two Greek priests crossed themselves, then vanished. And legend has it that one day, the church will become an Orthodox church again, and the priest will reappear to finish the service. For the next few centuries, the church was converted to a mosque. The once glittering mosaics were plastered over, as Islam forbids the use of icons in worship. Four minaret towers were built around the building, from which the call to prayer can be broadcast five times a day, and the cross on the roof was removed. Hagia Sophia continued as a mosque until 1935, when the secularist reformer Kemal Ataturk converted the Hagia Sophia into a secular museum and the building remained in secular use for the next 80 years. Visitors of all religions were barred from praying on the site, but in 2020, the religious conservative government of President Erdogan of Turkey reconverted the Hagia Sophia from a museum into a mosque. Unlike the last time when the building was a mosque and the mosaics were simply plastered over, as a compromise the mosaics are covered with curtains during prayer times, and female visitors are now required to wear modest clothing upon entry. On the flip side, entry to the building is now free. So this building, the Hagia Sophia, was an Orthodox church, a Catholic church, an Orthodox church again, a mosque, a museum, and then a mosque again, and has now entered another long chapter in its long and fascinating history. Whatever function it serves inside, people of all faiths will continue to admire its beauty, elegance, and history. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.